Hey guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of FIFA 21 Career Mode Youth Edition here with Sarbrooken. And we come off the bank of two huge victories at the beginning of December. We see ourselves seventh on the table, and now, after a week off, we have a chance here to take on Erzenberg, who are currently second on the table. So if we can grab three points, we will be very happy as we head into the winter break. And then we will come back. It's against FC St. Pauli, who are definitely not one of the stronger teams so we've got a real chance to make up some ground and get ourselves in contention headed into January so let's get into this first game here against Erzenberg so we'll get into this one obviously no changes to the lineup we are playing very well at the moment let's see if we can take advantage of the attacking 3-5-2 from Erzenberg here as we get into our final game of December And we'll get this one underway. The old DeLonge gets on the ball here. It's a good chance for Cabin. He'll send it across Sullivan, who has a lot of room. Sullivan looks to send it back into Parra right off, and Frank just runs past it, but it's an offsides call. A great ball in, but just a bit early here for Parra. DeLonge cuts back inside. Has a good ball there, Para. Para swings it along, has Frank. Frank, a chance, drives right in. Can he beat the keeper? He does. No, Frank absolutely on fire. After not scoring a whole lot from after his debut, comes in big and gets another goal. Three goals in his last three games. And it's Noah Frank who puts us on the board. One to nil. Long ball. Finds DeLonge. Has it here, moves it along, looking for Cabin. Cabin now, can he send it into the box? Has Parra right there. Parra on the ball, gets on it. Is he on sides this time? And no, he is not. Parra again, offsides. Guillaume intercepts it, and he's going to carry the ball out. Noah Frank calling forward on the wide side, has the ball here. He'll move it right back into Sullivan. Sullivan with a chance. Sends it back into Parra. He'll skip it down. Can he get a ball in? Tries to send it across the face of goal, and no one there to pick up the loose ball. Oh, driving forward. Good ball into the middle. A good ball there right in front. And oh, Cook's not going to be able to save that. Just a good pass, and no one there to help out. And a couple offsides call come back to hurt us as it's now 1-1. Sullivan on the ball, looking for a good ball. Winkler, Winkler taps along Para. Para this time right off the keeper. The offsides doesn't get him this time, but the keeper keeps him off the board again. DeLonge on the ball here, driving forward. Can he find a ball? No one really in the box to help him. DeLonge now gets into the box, fights off a defender, wins the ball back, hands it back to the top. Winkler takes a swing, but... And in the end, easily broken up by the defender. Final minutes tick away here. As they'll hold on to the ball. Will they blow the whistle? You would think they would. It's an offsides call that will end it. And we will go into halftime much the better side. But a one-all game. Oh, back into the middle. Petit gets in front of that one. A big block away. Couldn't win the ball back. And still another drive here. As they take a shot and Cook makes an easy grab. Oh, good pass. In behind and they'll get it past Cook. A really good play there. We just were not able to break up the ball in time. They held it around the box and they finally found a gap. And it's going to be 2-1. to one. Winkler now. Moves it along. Sullivan. Sullivan. Through to Frank. Frank has the ball in the box right off the keeper, but offsides in the end wouldn't have mattered. Oh, Baker misses with the tackle. Good ball in and a big shot, and that will be three. And they have not had a lot of shots, but they've taken advantage of the ones that they have. And it's three to one. Para holds the ball up. Oh, just misses Kuhn on a pass, and it will go all the way to the end line and misses a chance there to find a goal. DeLonge back on it, has it back to Para in the middle, who swings and in the end could not find the goal. Kuhn, he'll send it along DeLonge. DeLonge has a chance, cuts back, drops it off. Para, top of the box, gets a shot off, and again, another big save. Corner here, chasing two goals. DeLonge will send it in, looking for Petit. It's a good one, deflected away. Renault tries to take a swing to it and couldn't find the inside of the net. 
Ivanov, he'll have the ball here. Can he find something into the net? It's Parra on the header and couldn't get it down. And goes back to the goalkeeper. The boar knocks it down through the middle. Moves it along Parra. Parra now trying to get into the box. Cuts back. Moves it along Kuhn. Kuhn can't get it through the traffic. Sullivan tries to take a shot. And in the end, easily saved. And that will do it for us here in this one. A game where you definitely feel we deserved a victory. But in the end, it's a 3-1 to one loss. So we are here final month in England. And unfortunately, we were not able to find really a single player to bring in. And our final month here in Cameroon, it's Draquiz LA, who we will bring in 73-93 to 93 potential. And so, final month here in Iceland, we have found two players. We have Ask Grimmer Magnuson, 69 to 93, is 52 to 72, 15 years of age. And we have one more player, Arner, Arner Nor Adal, 79 and 94, looks to be a good midfielder. So, we will send our scouts back out. It will be Switzerland, Poland, and Uruguay for three months. And we will take a look at our academy, and we do have a couple players, or at least one player, we will take a look at. Marco Petrov looks to be a great midfielder, already up to a 67 overall. That potential, you know, we'd love to see it a little higher, but looks to be a good player. So he will come right into the senior squad. So six foot, right footed midfielder, right into the senior squad. Also look at Sebastian Vasquez, 61 overall, still looking good. Luna, still looking good. I mean, some of these players are, are really, really talented. They just got to get that over up, overall up a little bit. And, you know, we can maybe see them come in. We have Jacques Lay, who's uh, 58 overall, looking good. Sumar, who's a 58 overall. And Magnuson, the goalkeeper. That potential could go either way, but six foot one looks to be a decent goalkeeper at 57 overall. So we will get into our next game here against FC St. Pauli. It's a three at the back for them. So hopefully we can take advantage of that with all the offensive firepower that we have. Ahmed returns from injury. He is on the bench. So maybe he can come and help out and maybe find a goal here in late January. Let's see if we can get Sarbrooken up towards the top of the table. And we'll get this one underway. Into the box here. St. Pauli take an opening shot and Cook deflects it away out for a corner. Corner here. St. Pauli send it in. Headed on and they'll find the back of the net. It floats over Cook's head. And just five minutes in, St. Pauli have an early one and a lead. And Cook has all the talent in the world. But at 5'11", may just not have the size to be in net as that one floats over on a good header. All right through the middle here. Driving forward, Petit comes out and meets him. Deflects it away. It finds Sullivan, and Sullivan trying to get forward fast. Has it out wide. It's Frank. Frank going to drive past the defense here. Has a chance into the box and takes a good one there. Dits deflects it away. Winkler chips it up and couldn't find the net. The keeper makes the grab. Knocked down in the middle. It's Gabin. Kabin now quickly through Para away from the defender. He'll take an opening shot there. It gets deflected away. Chases it down in the box and couldn't control it. We'll go back to St. Pauli as they just clear the ball. And in the middle, Kabin sends it through looking for Para. Para runs onto it. And why is he chipping the ball every single time? I have no idea why that's happening. It goes over the bar though. Oh, Guillaume couldn't pick it up and they find two. How does that get through his legs? Such an easy way to intercept the ball and get the ball back. And St. Pauli find it 2-0 here in the first half. Oh, it goes right back in as Guillaume gets in front of it, knocks it away, and heavy pressure on from St. Pauli here in the first half. Frank gets on the ball, has Winkler. Winkler going to run right at him, has Parra up the middle. Can he find him? Para, it's a little behind, slows him down, sends it off Winkler. Winkler sends it in Frank. Frank has a chance if he's on sides, puts it in the back of the net, but the flag goes up. Winkler chips it up, has Kabin. Kabin now holding up, goes wide, looks for Frank. Friend sends it across, has Para on the header and couldn't find the direction on it. 
Winkler sends it along Sullivan. Sullivan tries to get it in par. A heavy touch. Gets the ball away and gets the shot off. But right in front of it is the defender. Goes for another corner. Frank rolls the ball through Cabin now. Cabin holds it up. Back to Winkler. Moves it along Frank. Frank sends it in. Good ball there. DeLonge. DeLonge sends it right in front and just out of the reach. of Para trickles out and goes for a goal kick. Winkler to Sullivan. Quickly up Para. Para holding it up. Has the ball. Sends it wide here to Frank. Frank now boots it off to Renault. Renault sends a good cross. Has Sullivan on the header. Right at the keeper. Goes for another corner and... The chance is coming fast and strong here for Sarbrook and just not able to get it through. And that will do it. We'll go into halftime. A lot of opportunities, but none find the back of the net here for Sarbrook. And Winkler moves it along nicely. Sullivan. Sullivan now sends a good ball through. Para has a chance in an oh, right in front is the defender again. Knocks that one away. Sullivan in a foot race through the middle of the field. Looks for Para. Winkler finds him. Has DeLonge off to Cabin. DeLonge now driving right at his man. Cuts back. Looking for it into the middle. Has Para, who sets it up nicely in the middle of the field and puts it in the back of the net. Gives us a 2-1 to one game here as we get one back. Finally. Finally breakthrough. And of course, it's Para. 17 goals on the season. It's a great movement by the team. The ball kind of bounced around. It's finally settled down in the middle of the field. Found Para, no defender there, and beats the keeper. All right, and in the middle of the field, dangerous. Guillaume, can he get in front of it? No, and Cook reacts late, and we give it right back to him. Just too much time on the ball. Couldn't get out there, and Cook again makes kind of a bad reaction and misses another save. A Winkler takes the ball away and wins it back. Has a chance here. Driving forward. Has Para. Lays it off to him. It's in the back of the net. And we have a one-goal game again. Para finds number 18 on the season. But really, all set up by Winkler. Being an absolute bulldog. Driving through. Intercepting the ball. And then just lays it off. And it's an empty net and a tap, tap, tap a here for Para. Winkler right through the middle here. Can he find another one? Has DeBoer. DeBoer now looking for it behind the Frank. Frank has a chance. Can he get the angle? No, couldn't get the shot away in time and could not find an angle to get the ball in. Guillaume trying to get in front of it. Closing down the angle. They take a good shot and near post again. Cook lets it up. And an absolute sieve at the back. And we may be looking for a new number one as Cook cannot do anything to get in front of the ball. DeLonge looking for a through ball. Has Para. Para tries to cut back. Has DeBoer. DeBoer now holding it up. Goes to DeLonge. Cannot break through the defense. Back to DeBoer. DeBoer flicks it back to Para trying to get it to him. Intercepted and just too little too late. And as Cook lets up four goals, we go down four to two. So, unfortunately, we see ourselves drop big points and really fall off the pace now. Eight points separating us, and I mean, that could have been big. If we got a victory, keeps us right there in hopes of making the top three. Now, at the end of January, we've got one more game remaining before we go to February, and it's going to be a big one. We need to get the victory. It is against Nuremberg, who are just above us, so we'll see what happens. That does it for us here in this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest ones are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.